Hi, YouTube family. I am Alicia Thornwell, your favorite realtor. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how I go about getting clients. But before I begin, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share with me a comment. And my mom just recently discovered my YouTube channel, so I know she's watching, and I want to say, hey, mom, I love you. All right, now, how do I go about clients? I choose to go about finding clients by working what's called your sphere, S-P-H-E-R-E, -E, or your circle of influence, people that you know. Um, so first and foremost, um, when I first started the business, what I did was I reached out to 100 contacts in my phone, letting them know that I was a realtor and open for business. And from those text messages alone, I can recall that I, cl I closed three transactions um, as a result of just sending out text messages, letting people know what I'm now doing. Um, I also work my spear through my sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. It's a great way to make connections with people as well as gain clients. My alum, um, Hampton University, fellow Hampton University alumni, I'm able to help them find homes. I've helped classmates um, whose children are now students at Hampton University uh, find homes for them to live in while you know, they live off campus. The gym is one place. Uh, I've met many people through my powerlifting days who have purchased homes with me. Uh, prior clients have um, referred business to me. Let's see what else. Um, I've even worked with investors, social media, making, you know, uh, putting out social media ads. I once uh, put an ad out on Instagram. A young man expressed interest in purchasing his first investment property. I was able to work two transactions with him um, in which he was able to flip two homes. So that was really exciting as well. And also other listings. So when you, they always say listings are gold because other listings can lead to other business. So one time I had a gentleman reach out to me on a listing that I had. I wasn't able to help him with that particular home, but guess what? We found another home for him to purchase. So you may look at me and say, hey, Alicia, you know, you have your sorority, your gym, um, your fellow alumni. I don't have anybody. I don't know anybody. And I'm going to say that's not true. You'll be surprised of the people that you know, the connections that you know. I do not live in an area in which in the area which I was born. I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. So all of my family, my best friends from third grade, they're all in Detroit. So I've had to come into an area um, pretty much not knowing that many people and growing my business. Now, granted, I've been here for almost oh, 10, over 10 years, um, but I just became a realtor within the last five years. So again, just having to make connections. When you go to the grocery store, you know, that's an opportunity for you to smile, say hello, give your business card. Um, are you active or, you know, former or prior military? You know, there are a lot of real estate agents who are, and they do phenomenal with other, you know, helping other military professionals find, you know, find places to live or sell their home. So that's another avenue. The one thing that I can tell you is don't be a secret agent. My broker told me this one story of how she was in Italy or Spain and her and her husband had just finished a tour. And as the tour was wrapping up, um, there was a woman who passed out her business card and said, hey, I'm Jane Doe from ABC Realty in Boca Raton, Florida. If you're ever in the area, give me a call, whatever the case may be. And her partner, either it was her husband or boyfriend, I'm not sure. He just said, this is what she does. I'm used to it and she's very successful. So I hope these tips are very helpful as to sources of business. Good luck to you and by all means, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments section below. Thank you.